Hi guys, I'm Antana. Welcome to my channel. If you've never seen this face before, never heard the voice, but especially have never heard the name. This is she. Yes, I am. And it's a thrift haul, baby. Now, when you search for thrift vlogs on YouTube and TikTok, the American girlies pop up. You know the girlies and the giant thrift stores that have aisles and aisles of clothes on rails in these stores that are full. They'll have trolleys and baskets to walk around the store in, and some stores even have fitting rooms. The items in their thrift stores are color-coordinated and separated into different categories they'll have different tags on them that indicate price differences and sales now i'm not saying that such stores don't exist in south africa because they do but these types of places are not that easily accessible and definitely not that affordable the Donosa thrifting experience is quite different i would say it best compares to thrifting in the goodwill bins but not quite in my experience of thrifting in Johannesburg, I will say it is not for the bougie. If you are bougie, if you like a clean environment, if you like to be alone in a secluded space, it is not for you. Josie thrifting is not for the weak, it's not for the bougie, it's not for the fancy. This is where the real stuff goes down. Kikotropong in the middle of town there by Park Station. Never go alone, especially if you are a girly like me, don't go thrifting alone. It is a place that is filled with men. It is South Africa. It is town. It is Joburg. So immediately all those are red flags. Don't go alone. Take someone with you. Go in a group. Just basically make sure that you're there safely and you're taking care of your own safety and you're making sure that you're okay because it can take a little bit of time. I know I've spent hours thrifting like digging through those clothes trying to get what you want and you just want to make sure that when you're carrying a bag you're carrying cash maybe you have your phone you have your keys you just want to make sure that you're safe you so must be comfortable when you go thrifting there because it's not a fun experience inside a little shop you're not going to get to like try things on like really sit there and evaluate i couldn't even vlog i couldn't even vlog when i was doing it i had to steal a few clips thrifting there is not just for us y'all like women men of all ages kids everybody thrifts like secondhand stuff is the way to go it's cheaper you'll find abo mama there who just got off the taxi from work and they are going to start by passing by the thrift so it definitely gets packed around like 12 1 2 3 so i definitely do advise that you go in the morning you will have much more luck with finding cute pieces obviously because no one has been there yet every day these people bring new new clothes in these giant boxes y'all like it is these giant giant piles of clothes that they bring every day so it's something fresh every day you're probably never going to find the same thing twice so you want to go earlier in the day so that you get first pick at all the cute stuff if you know that you're there for jeans you're there for cargoes whatever you're there for you make sure that you get there early enough so that you can be the first one to get the pick at the good stuff because if you go later in the day and you're going to find that people already passed all those boxes all those bins you're going to find the cruddy stuff you're going to find the leftovers you're not going to have a good thrift day trust me so i definitely advise that you go earlier in the day there are a few places that I like to go thrifting in Brahm. This is the first one. This is a thrift shop on Juta Street. They always have a good selection of items, but the prices are quite average. As in, you could probably buy something new at a cheaper shop instead of secondhand here. So it's definitely not the most affordable place, but you can always find gems because the owners do hand pick the items according to specific aesthetics. So it is much easier to shop here. Now I've gotten jewelry many times at this place, but it was my first time buying a clothing item and I really like the experience. This is obviously closer to that American thrift vlog kind of experience just because it is indoors it is really vintage shop looking and it has that kind of vibe to it speaking of vintage shops this is an actual vintage shop 
It is right out of the gate of Wits University near Noswell Hall. Now, I never find anything clothing-wise that I like in this shop only because the style is very different to my own. Definitely not in my style range, but this shop is always so interesting to look through. The shop itself is really big. It has mirrors. The vibes are all there. So I used to love walking through here and just checking out the giant selection of items. They also have a lot of books and I've seen people sit down and read in the store, which I think is super, super awesome. But what I come for in the store is the jewelry. There is a jewelry maker who works at the shop who makes these really interesting chains and earrings. I have spent hours scrolling through all these because they're just so cool. And I have a few items from the shop. Definitely my favorite thing to buy. And I'd say this shop is also much closer to that American style thrift vibe with the giant shops. But it is not Donosa. This is called Donosa thrifting because you have to Donosa into the bins and actually dig out the items. Here, it's in the middle of the street. It's a really long street where people just have items in these bins and you scrummage through them to find what you are looking for. This is the most affordable way to thrift in South Africa. And I absolutely love the items that I got. So let's get into this haul. I'm going to start with the accessories, starting from the ones that I showed when I went to that thrift store by in Brom by Noswell Hall there, that vintage shop. I absolutely love that vintage shop. I always go in. If you like books, you'll also really like it there because they have a lot of books, but they have a lot of like jeans and big jackets. Things are usually too oversized for me to buy there, but I absolutely always love the accessories. I think this is my third or fourth pair of earrings that I've bought from there because they always have these interesting earrings. But I will start off with these Coca-Cola earrings. They're so cute. <laughs> I found them too interesting to leave behind. I was like, I have no idea when I would need to be wearing Coca-Cola earrings, but the day will come and I will be prepared. The next accessory I got is this cap. I got this in Park Station. There was a bin with a bunch of caps and beanies and we searched a bit through them but i eventually found this one i absolutely love it this is my second cap that i've gotten from thrifting and i absolutely love it um a lot of the time you'll find that their caps are really faded or they're like something in them is torn or broken but this one is perfect i have like the perfect streetwear outfit planned for this i cannot wait to wear it This next item I got, I got from an actual thrift store in Brahm by 93 Juta Street. I think that's the street, but I know it's on Juta. Um, basically there by the salons, there's just a thrift store that's there. One thing about them though, they go to Park Station. They buy the stuff there for 10, 20 Rand and then they market up the price put a percentage on that thing and sell it for like 150, 200. That store is so expensive for thrifting. When you know Park Station is right there, you find the prices there ridiculous, but I went there and I found this Friends shirt. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with Friends. Like, I love Friends and I've never had merch from there. I remember Mr. Price did a whole thing where they were doing like a lot of merch. Even Factory and Cotton On had a Friends phase, but I just never got into it because the Mula honey, but I found this top there by the thrift store on 93 Juta Street for 50 Rand. I thought that wasn't too bad. I've actually never worn it or taken it out of this plastic. It's been like this since the day I bought it. Uh, so we'll definitely put that on and try it on and see how it fits because I don't actually know. But actually, after I bought this top, I think two weeks later, Matthew Perry passed away. How crazy is that? Like, I still haven't rewatched Friends. Like, I can't. I know I can't handle it yet. But like, literally two weeks after I bought this shirt, he passed away. And I was so shocked. I was like, I'm so glad I got my merch. Like, now I feel like the merch means even more to me, which is maybe why I don't want to take it out of the plastic. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. But we'll try this shirt on and see what it's giving. Thank you. 
still channeling that chandler energy right there i bought these sort of vests two sort of vests i think this one was seven rand and this one was 10 rand thrifting in those bins i had been looking for these i actually looked for these a lot and i actually wanted some that also have like cool crazy patterns and designs but i just never found that but i absolutely love these simple like sort of vests these help me out when i'm going for like a prep look you know what i'm talking about like the little schoolgirl look that i absolutely love i love these this one is a bit more oversized as you can see it's a bit bigger and it's chocolatey brown and it's like this i don't know i don't know what materials are called actually i don't know why i said that i have absolutely no idea what size this is and like I said, I found it for 10 Rand in the bins, but I had to dig for her. I had to dig for her. Alongside that one, I also found this one. This one is not so oversized like the other one. And it has like this part of it that makes it a bit more tight at the bottom so they definitely have two different fits as well as two different necklines this one is quite low like this i've actually never worn this one but i already have an outfit in plan for it Now I wanted to try jorts, like jorts were all the rage, they're still the rage, like the fashion girlies, the Pinterest girlies are all wearing jorts and I wanted to join in on the fun. But when I searched up the prices of jorts, y'all, 450 rand, 350 rand for pants that I don't even know I'm going to like yet. So I definitely couldn't invest that much. So I had an idea, right? So I went thrifting and I bought really big jeans. Now I used to have footage. <laughs> I used to have footage of me going to the tailor and having them made, but I lost that footage. RIP to that footage. But I will show you guys the end result anyway. I made a pair of jorts, y'all, and it worked out so perfect for a quarter of the price. I basically got these really big jeans tailored into my waist, as you can see. It's like this rubberized elastic band here to make sure that they actually fit me and then because these jeans are so big which was the point i could keep this whole part and only cut the bottom and have them tailored to fit me and i absolutely love how they fit i bought these jeans for like 60 or 70 rand and it cost me about 50 rand or 70 rand to get them tailored so that's about 140 roughly instead of spending 450 on jorts i feel like that's that's just girl math. Like, that means I get two pairs of jorts. You know what I mean? Like... This jersey here is one of my favorite thrift finds to date. The jerseys always slap the most when thrifting. Again, because usually to find something cute, it's expensive. It comes at a cost. So when you go thrifting and you find something that just fits right and is so perfect, for like 20 rand, it, it eats. Because this was a 20 rand cropped hoodie that I got a while back. I have worn this jersey, y'all. Like, I love this jersey. <laughs> I love this jersey so i have worn her like she has been she's been through it with me but it's super cute it fits me like it was made for me and i got it for 20 rand at the thrift deal you cannot go wrong now when you're a petite honey like me usually thrifty you'll find that things are way too big so those days where you find a gem that fits you just perfect. Oh, this skirt was one of those gems. Ah, I love this skirt. It is this like really pale purple. I don't know if it's coming off on camera. The best part about this skirt is that it's a skirt. Ah! <laughs> now I'm usually not an advocate for skirts. I don't usually like skirts, but usually because at the back it'll be showing that it's pants instead of being wrapped around and that's what i like about this one it is it wraps around 
all the way so that it hides the skirt, which for me means that I can also wear it both ways. Either I wear it like this and have the whole thing looking like this, or I could wear it the other way around and have this line. I'm pretty sure this is the actual way you're supposed to wear it, but fashion has no rules, so. We have found about 20 cargo pants going thrifting and I found a few myself and you'll never not find cargo pants when you're going thrifting there by Donoza Pack Station. You'll never not like unless you're really unlucky, but you will always find cargo pants. They have the cutest cargo pants. They have the cutest pants in general. And I found these gray ones that I really like yeah again when you're a petite honey it's very like tricky to find things that fit you exactly but this and this these are my best friends when i go thrifting sana these are my best friends anything that is adjustable by the waist is going to be your best friend when you're thrifting because obviously those things are not sitting there small medium large extra large 2xl no you have to take what you take and you have to alter what you can but I found these pants with this drawstring, which makes it fit perfectly. And yeah, I really like them. Something that I guarantee that you are always going to find every single time you go thrifting is a flannel shirt. Y'all, they have them by the bucket loads. Like, flannel shirts of every color and pattern and checkerboard you can think of you're gonna find i have bought two from there now this is the one i bought this time i really like it it's really oversized and i love the gray color of it um like i said you're never not gonna find you're never not gonna find a flannel shirt so if you really want one or if you're one of those people who wears a lot of flannel then i definitely suggest you go thrifting for them i think this was like 20 rand it was either 10, 15, or 20, but not more than that. Now, this skirt is another item that I actually got tailored after I bought it. It was a lot longer. It was kind of an awkward length. And I think if you are the parachute skirt type of girly, you would have loved how it looked. But for me, the length was a bit awkward, but I really love how it looks. And I had wanted to buy a skirt like this from Sheen. So when I saw this thrifting, I was like, great, excellent. So I had it cut a little bit just down here. They made it a little bit shorter so that now it's a bit of a mini skirt for me, but it is perfect. And like I said before, drawstrings are gonna be your best friend when you go thrifting because they make anything tailored to your waist. And that is what these have. So they fit me really nicely. And yeah, I'm just happy with it. I'm happy with it. I bought this for like 10 Rand, maybe even five, maybe even seven. I don't remember, but it definitely wasn't more than 10 Rand for this skirt. Last item, but certainly not least, is this really cute dress. Ah! Y'all, I never find dresses that I really like when I'm thrifting. Like, maybe also because I just don't look for them. Let me not lie. I don't be looking for dresses like that. But this day, I stumbled upon this dress, and it's in a small. It's a little bit big for me, but not too much. And I'm debating whether I should actually tailor it. I will show you guys what I mean. Like... I don't know if I should tailor it or not, but I absolutely love this dress. It's so cute, it's so dainty. It gives me like such cottage core vibes, coquette girl, picnic, just ah, it gives me running in a field of daisies vibes. <laughs> Those are all the items that I wanted to show you guys that I've thrifted over the last few months. Please let me know which one is your favorite. 
do you guys thrift what's your view on secondhand clothing what's your view on like thrifting shoes thrifting bags thrifting underwear what's your take let me know and if you are around pretoria and you know another place where i can do some dinosa thrifting please plug your girl because going all the way to joburg just to find thrifting is gonna be a mission let me know if you guys have your favorite thrift shops plug me y'all like plug me to more thrifting places because i am in my thrifting bag and i cannot wait to show you guys more and more what i get next time i go please make sure you like this video leave a comment and subscribe bye